starting here in Nigeria, where the Nigerian Labour Congress has announced plans to commence a two-day nationwide protest on the 26th of July 2022 in solidarity with the striking members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities and other unions in the public universities. In a secular data, July 15, 2022, the, the Congress disclosed this while addressing chairpersons and secretaries of its state councils. The secular, which was signed by the NLC president, Ayuba Waba, and General Secretary Emmanuel Uwaja, was uh, uh, titled National Protest to Get Our Children Back to School. According to the secular, the protest will be held on July 26th and 27th at all state capitals and the federal capital territory. The protests in states are expected to take off from NLC State Secretariat, while that of Abuja will take from the Abuja House, Abuja Labor House. And um, it's interesting to talk about the fact that the strike is, up, I think it's 155th day of the strike of students staying at home, of the lecturers not being able to work. And what is happening is that we're seeing a strike coming up in support of an ongoing strike. Sure. Maybe this should bring to light the conversation of how really effective is strike and striking in Nigeria, how effective really is striking. I was reading an article and I'm going to share, I stumbled on this article by theconversation.com and they said that lecturers in Nigerian public universities have embarked on 16 strikes or strikes 16 times since 1999. I heavily doubt this. I feel like it's even been more. Cumulatively, the public universities have lost about 50 months of the academic calendar to these actions in the last 23 years. Of course, we know the reasons for the strike, money, funding, salary issues, uh, refusal of the government to meet their, to enforce an, or, um, an earlier stated agreement. Now, it says that Nigeria has 217 licensed universities. Federal government runs 49 and another 57 belongs to state governments. The remaining 111 are run by private operators. So we're looking at these number of people. We're looking at over 100,000 uh, lecturers and these people earning less than $1,000 every month. We're asking ourselves, how effective is the strike? What is the effect of this, of this strike on you know, young Nigerians? It's, it's affecting our students who will end up having to compete in the global world. The people who have gone ahead of them. There's a backlog. People are, are I mean, the, the employment market is suffering grossly. There's, there's so many effects that we can look at. And it's just really sad to see that it's led to another strike yeah. in support of this. But uh, the, the blame for me would never be on the striking lecturers. Of course. It would be always on government. Um, the government certainly has a role they to have, play. You know, a you, huge if, role to if play. If you look at the amount of money that will be spent campaigning for the next elections, ASU could have been paid off and settled and universities could have been back in school long ago. So I, I'm so just really hope, wondering if they actually see the impact that this don't. is having they don't, and, on you know, the economy. You can also tell that they, there's not that much interest in getting the kids back to school.